All right, so in this chapter, I'm going to go through and kind of handle uh, some of my trims. Um, so let's go to unlit, and this is what I'm looking at. So here looks okay, right? I've got my ceiling, I've got this little pillar, and I've got this uh, guy here. Uh, but the problem is at the floor, I've just got brick that goes right into the floor, and that doesn't look so great. So what I can do is I can leverage these meshes that I already have, kind of duplicate them, turn it 90 degrees, and I'll like just kind of create a trim out of these. Okay, so let's turn snapping on and I'll snap these up. Cool, that's done. Uh, I could do the same. By dragging those down there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it on this side because I've got this this corner. Uh, I could, I mean, I could try to do something here. Right, where I just, you know, we're not going to notice it because of the garbage cans here. But the problem will come. Uh, over here where we kind of can see it. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. But on the other side, it could be a problem. Um, but I guess let's just, let's do it. Let's see if it becomes a problem. You know, could make it uh, squared off there, which actually doesn't look that bad. Looks kind of interesting. And then, see, these are the, the happy accidents where I don't think something's going to work out. Then it ends up working out. All right, so I'll line this up pretty good. There we go, not bad. And I'll duplicate this. Rotate it 90. And hope that it doesn't cause an issue through here. Causing a bit of an issue. But I could scale this thing in. And there we go. So let's do the same over here. Turn my rotational snap back on. And let's transform this <clears throat> I'm sorry, mirror it. Do I want it mirrored in X? There we go. And I'll just pull that out a little bit so that they don't uh, they don't butt up there. Okay, cool. It's actually working nicely. Uh, I can move this, 
out a little bit. It's not going to be enough for people to really notice. But now we've got some nice trim around there. So another area uh, is going to be this transition from down here to there. I could throw a material on here at this point. It's not really going to matter what it is. But let's finish this corner off here with a trim. So I'll duplicate another one of these, rotate it 90 degrees, pull it out over here. And we can kind of create a trim. going to delete this and I'm going to put my snapping back on and I'll just drag one out and try to snap it right there. Perfect. Rotate it 180 degrees. And, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's just something like this. It's an extension that I kind of like that actually. Cool, and that fits perfectly three times. I could uh, put something else up here too. So something like this. Where we've got a bit of a, a break there. That actually looks pretty nice. Let's do the same for over here. So I'll just duplicate one of these over, bring it down, and I'll uh, try to line one of these up because I'm sure these might have a similar. Yeah, they're two two of those to every one. So let's duplicate that on down. And I'm not sure how far down here I'm going to go. But let's give ourselves some <clears throat> some room. Okay, so we've got something for down there. Let's do the same for the top. We'll kind of make it a little bit different. I'll push it in a little further and have it come down something like that. And since we can kind of see over here, I don't know, maybe this is like a bumper or something. Maybe that doesn't look that bad. But if I can look down here, you know, maybe I want to add another one. Let's add another one of these here as well. And I know I'm going to need one on the other side. Okay, I think I've got trim everywhere where I want trim. Uh, in the next chapter, I think we'll go and we'll start to add some pipes.